So everybody always wants to know how they can continue to provide customer satisfaction. And a lot has been uh, spoken and written about uh, customer service and how it differs from customer satisfaction. But what are some things that, that you might be able to do in your organization to uh, create customer satisfaction? So let me give you a few things to, to think about. First of all, you always want to make sure in your schedule that you have time for face-to-face -face contact with your customer. Uh, if you don't have that, uh, then there's really no rapport and there's no solidifying of that relationship. And when you meet with your customer, uh, you want to be confident, you want to be able to listen to what they're saying and, and really look for opportunities to maybe even expand the service that you provide for them. But most importantly, you want them to identify a face with a name. You, you've heard a lot of times that before you had the contract, uh, you were always around. Uh, but now that you have the contract, I don't see you as much. So that's an area that can help you to create customer service. Uh, the other thing is, uh, how promptly do you respond to messages? Your customer sends you a message, an email, uh, leaves a voice message on the phone. Uh, do you put it aside and get to it when uh, you feel like it? Or do you respond the way that you promised you would respond when you submitted the proposal for the original contract? And the other thing is, how informed do you keep your customers? Do you tell them about the growth of your company? Do you tell them about the training programs that you've started to implement? Maybe a new piece of equipment, and maybe not particularly on their site, uh, but on another site that will eventually help you to provide a better uh, quality of service. Uh, by informing your customer, you're helping them to get that comfort zone. Uh, and then, of course, that uh, equals satisfaction. And when you meet with your customer, are you, uh, treat, do you treat them as, as just another customer? Or do you treat them as uh, someone who you really appreciate uh, that you're able to do business for? So you really want to have the, the manner of being approachable, being friendly, and really getting across that you appreciate the business that that customer has given you. And uh, then what you want to do also within your organization is really see whether you have a customer satisfaction policy. In other words, the person who answers the phone to the person who goes out and corrects the problem to the follow-up. Is there a written policy within your organization? Because if there is, then that's the guideline that you want to follow. If you don't have a policy, uh, customer service or customer satisfaction policy, then you want to, to make sure that you develop one as soon as possible. And the other thing is, uh, to sum this all up, is we really want to be proactive. We don't want the customer, we don't want to wait for the customer to call us. We want to take the initiative uh, because when we take the initiative, that's a positive situation. Usually if the customer calls us, he's not calling us uh, to tell us what a great job we're doing, although they do that sometimes. If we get a call from the customer, it's usually about something negative. So let's be proactive. If you do these things, then you're going to be really creating customer satisfaction.